I am Dr. Franklin Yao with Vanguard Vascular and Bain. In this short video, we will be discussing peripheral artery disease treatment in our vascular center. We will talk about the causes of peripheral artery disease, the symptoms and complications, how we diagnose it, and what available treatments we have to treat it. Thank you for tuning in. I'll have answers to all your questions coming right up. So what is peripheral artery disease, or PAD? Your physician may be using this term to describe what you are experiencing. PAD is related to coronary artery disease, or heart disease, and also related to cerebrovascular disease, or strokes. But peripheral artery disease, or PAD, specifically is talking about vascular disease that affects the arteries of the arms, the legs, the abdomen, and the neck. Most of the time when we talk about PAD, we're really referring to vascular disease that affects the arteries of the lower extremities. Let's talk about the causes of vascular disease. The five main risk factors for developing vascular disease are diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking, high blood pressure, and family history. Four of these five risk factors can be managed and modified to decrease your risk of developing vascular disease by decreasing your hemoglobin A1C, your LDL cholesterol, your smoking, and your blood pressure through diet, exercise, lifestyle changes, and medications, you can decrease the risk of you developing vascular disease. You can slow down the progression of vascular disease if you have it, and you can decrease the complications from vascular disease in the future. Uncontrolled diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking, and high blood pressure damages the inner lining of the arteries. The body responds to this damage by inducing plaque buildup, which creates blockages and decreases blood flow to vital organs. Let's focus on talking about the symptoms of PAD of the lower extremities. The first stage symptom is called intermittent claudication. Intermittent claudication is pain, cramps, or fatigue of the muscles of the hip, thighs, and calves while walking that's relieved with rest. This results from blood flow that is insufficient for muscle function with exercise. The second, more serious stage of symptoms is called ischemic rest pain. Ischemic rest pain describes pain of the forefoot or the toes while at rest that is relieved with hanging the feet down. This results from blood flow that is insufficient for muscle function while at rest. The third and most serious stage of symptoms is called tissue loss which manifests itself as a non-healing wound or gangrene. This results from blood flow that is insufficient for tissue healing. We grade the severity of PAD symptoms with the Rutherford classification. Rutherford class one, two, and three describes mild, moderate, and severe intermittent claudication respectively. Rutherford class four describes ischemic rest pain. Rutherford class five describes tissue loss with gangrene or a non-healing wound in a foot that is salvageable. And Rutherford class six describes advanced tissue loss with gangrene in a foot that is not salvageable. After determining the Rutherford classification and performing a complete physical examination, the next step in evaluation is vascular testing, usually in the form of an ultrasound examination performed in the office. These tests provide information on the severity and the location of the blocked arteries in the legs so that we can develop a treatment plan and also monitor your progress during treatment. First line therapy begins with behavior modification such as smoking cessation with nicotine replacement and behavior modification counseling. We also want to make sure the patient is on optimal medical therapy such as antiplatelet therapy with aspirin and or Plavix which are blood thinners that decrease the risk of blood clots at the plaque. Most of the time, we also highly recommend cholesterol management with a statin medication, which decreases plaque buildup, as well as stabilizing the plaque that you already have. Another helpful medication is silosazole, which potentially can decrease and alleviate some of the symptoms of claudication in patients with PAD. We also prescribe a supervised exercise program, which has been shown to decrease claudication symptoms in patients with PAD. If medical therapy is unsuccessful in providing clinical improvement, 
The next step in treatment is to consider minimally invasive endovascular therapies. These procedures can be performed as same-day outpatient procedures in the office or ambulatory surgery center setting. Take only a couple of hours and require minimal recovery time. During these procedures, arterial blockages are opened with balloon angioplasty, stent placement, and or an atherectomy device. Technological innovations have continually advanced the safety and efficacy of endovascular therapy. Therefore, they are frequently the first option for treatment of PAD in our patients. If medical therapy and endovascular therapy is unsuccessful, then surgical bypass is considered. Using the patient's own vein or an artificial bypass graft if vein is unavailable, the blocked artery is bypassed to create a new pathway for blood flow to the leg. Surgical bypasses are very effective and long-lasting, but do require hospitalization and a longer period of recovery, and are associated with a higher risk of heart attacks, infections, and possibly death. Due to the higher risk and the longer recovery, surgical bypass is usually reserved as a third option for treatment of PAD in our patients. Peripheral artery disease is becoming a more common problem for our patients and can decrease a patient's activity level, lead to amputations, and can shorten a patient's life. Therapeutic interventions by a board-certified vascular surgeon who specializes in peripheral artery disease can help you live better and live longer with vascular disease. I hope that this video has been educational. Thank you for watching. Best of luck. If you are looking for a consultation with a vascular surgeon, please contact us to see if we are the right fit for you.